Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to power on the telescope and how to polar align it. Now this is assuming that your telescope's already set up and that you've already aligned the telescope, the finder scope, and the telrad with each other. Assuming you have, the first thing we're going to need is the power adapter and the hand box that I'm going to grab from the accessory box right now. So here I have the power adapter and the hand box. I'm going to plug the power adapter to the back of the pier right now. Now the other end of the power adapter will go into where it says 12 volts direct current in. And the hand box will go into where it says HBX in that port. And before we power on the telescope, we're going to want to set it in its home position. So grabbing the handle, I'm going to unlock the declination lock. I'm going to set it so that it's parallel with the fork, relock it, and then I'm going to make sure that the base is aligned with the zero. Unlock the right ascension, align it, and then lock it. Now your zero might not be in its home position, it might have rotated a bit, so you can just realign it, and then align the base. Now that the telescope's in its home position, we're all good to power it on. The hand box will say the LX200 GPS Mead. It'll say, welcome to AutoStar. And then you'll hear a beep when it's ready. And from there, it'll take about another minute or so to actually get activated. You'll first be greeted with a line, and it should already say easy. If not, you can use these bottom triangle buttons to select the easy option. Once easy is on the hand box, you can hit enter. It'll say polar aligned. Our telescope is already polar aligned. The piers are polar aligned, so we can just hit enter. It'll ask if you're in daylight savings. Select the right option. Now it'll ask for the time. Make sure you're very precise down to the second. I recommend going to this website here, although normally I just use my Apple Watch because I know it's accurate, because I've checked it against this website. Now it may be in 12 hour or 24 hour, so make sure you use the right format. Right now it is 1443. Now once you hit enter, it takes about a second and a half to accept that time. So I would put in a time that's about a second and a half ahead from when you hit enter. So for example, right now it's 1443 and it is 15 seconds. So I'm gonna put it for 25 seconds. And then I'm gonna wait until my watch says 23 and a half and then I'm gonna hit enter. And then it'll ask for the date. Today is October 20th, 2019. So I'll hit enter. It'll ask for your location. It should already be on Good Soul. So then if it is, you can just hit enter. If it's not, you can use the bottom arrows to select the right location. And now it'll find Polaris and it'll start to slew. Let it do its thing. Now it may stop moving, but this does not mean it's done slewing. Wait until the hand box says it's done or until you hear that beep. Now it's asking us to adjust the mount. We don't need to adjust it, so just hit enter. It'll search for a second star, so that way you can make sure it is aligned. It selects the star based on your time of day, day of the year, and location. It selected Arturis for today's date and time. Now it is the middle of the day, so I, I can't see Arturis. And it's pointing a little too close to the sun that I'm comfortable with, so I'm not gonna look through the finder scope. And you don't need to, but normally I would look through the eyepiece. I would make sure it is centered on Arturis. And if not, I'll hit speed, and then it'll allow me to slew the telescope so I can center Arturis exactly on center. Now you have different speed options. It defaulted to eight times, and you can use the bottom arrows to go either faster, up to three degrees per second, or up to max, or as slow as guide. Um, so it, I don't know if it's pointing at Arturis, but I'll just show you what it looks like. Once it is centered, I'll hit enter, enter again, and it'll tell me my, that my align was successful. Now in my experience, the alignment of the telescopes not extremely accurate. 
Uh, it'll get me to the general location, but not centered on the object I'm looking for. And that's why it's very important to have your Telrad and Finder scope aligned with the telescope. Future Alex here. Now, one thing I learned recently that can help a lot when trying to find an especially dim object for either visual or taking photos is to recenter your telescope on a star that's near the object you're going to be uh, looking at. And the reason we do this is because when you do your original one star polar alignment, uh, you know, the, G the telescope will select whatever star it feels is bright enough in the sky for you to see. And the more you have to move away from that initial star to get to your object, uh, the less accurate the telescope will be when, when centering on that object. And so what we want to do is search for a star that is near the object you want to look for and center on that object, or center on that star. That way the telescope doesn't have to move too much away from that star to get to your object. Now the way we actually do this is first you're going to find out what star it is that's going to be near the object you want to look for. Preferably you're going to do this in your preparatory stages and when you're inside on a computer. And then you're going to want to search for that star on your hand box and salute to it. You're going to look through either the Telrad or the finder scope and make sure that the star is in, is in frame. You're going to look through the eyepiece and recenter your telescope using the slew button. So after you hit speed on the hand box and using the uh, four arrow buttons to center on pinpoint for the telescope. Your next step is going to be pushing and holding the enter button for about three seconds or so. You're gonna let go. The hand box will tell you recenter successful or realignment successful. And now you know that you've uh, realigned the telescope on that star. And then from here, you can then search for your actual object you want to look for. And the telescope should be much more accurate, sometimes even pinpoint on that object. I hope this helps. And back to the main video. And so once you enter in your object for that night, it'll salute to that location. You can use your Telrat to confirm that you are pointing in that area. Use your finder scope to uh, get a little closer and then use your eyepiece to center in on that object. I hope this video helped, and you can watch the CCD tutorial if you are planning on imaging for the night. Thank you for watching.